That's the same dudes that we speaking on. Outward, her album, who you sleeping on? I print the lyrics out and have a fucking read along. Ain't a fucking sing along unless you brought the weed along. And just, yeah, and just drop down and get your eagle on. Oh, we can stare by the stalls and put the Beatles on. All the shit you're talking about is not up for discussion. I don't pay to make it bigger. I don't pay for no reduction. If you're coming from my head, you motherfucker, you get the bus. Hey. <laughs> What's up, my dudes? So we got some track review action on red river mx made by next 285 i'm hoping that's all the right wordage uh also wanted to thank a donator knights inc for the one dollars i appreciate it dog if i don't like shout out any of your donations within the very next video after you donated uh i may have like made that video before you actually donated so just bear with me on that a little bit it may take me a couple videos for i actually shout you out there but Okay, so this track right here, very impressed with this, man. This is one of those that really feels like something of its own in MX Simulator. It's like it's its, its own complete design, off track and on track. Uh, interestingly enough, I actually, you know, I was really just talking about the on track, but then I really started looking and like the fog effect and everything that he's got off of the track is this really cool, almost as if you're like, I don't, it's just very motocross-esque, you know, that sort of cloudiness and the fog in the background and all that stuff. I don't know, it just kind of really puts you into the feeling of the track for sure, no doubt about that. But uh, some really cool whip-style jumps. Now, this track has a uh, kind of a almost sandy feeling to it a little bit, but this jump right here, dude, oh my god. You can get some of the craziest turn all the way backwards whip scrubs off that jump face right there. If you jump it all the way to that, that like alternate landing, you definitely have to jump it pretty far there. But it, And it's a little bit risky because the landing is so small. But when a landing is small, it's risky and also easy at the same time because there's not as much of a risk of like slamming coming up short on it. So it's kind of a fuck you if you do and fuck you if you don't go for that bigger jump. But I think it's pretty cool how he built it where you can still go for it um, and hit it somewhat consistently. I wouldn't say super consistently, but you guys know kind of how that like fog effect on some of the MXGP races and just local vibe races and stuff where it's got the, the fog effect on a motocross track. I don't know. It just kind of captures that pretty well. He's got a couple of inside water sections and stuff. This track does have a pretty nice flow to it in an overall sense. Um, all the corners just kind of meld together in a pretty nice way. You don't ever feel like you're really slamming on the brakes or doing anything like that. But, I mean, even though I say certain tracks flow well and others don't flow as well, I still like tracks that are varied, like to have some that don't flow as good and have other ones that do flow really good. Um, see, that's the risk you run into right there. Like, sometimes even if you land it perfect, you're still going to pop off the bike just because of how big you're jumping and how small the landing is. Um, so that's a little bit of the, the downside to that jump right there, but... Like, I love variation in everything. You know, I can talk about how this is good and that's good and this is bad and that's shitty, but really, I, I love it all. It's just, I don't know. And it all, I guess it's all a personal sort of taste as well when you're reviewing something. You know, I review these tracks because it's my own personal taste in things. If you don't like what I say about a track, dog, that's awesome. Like, I'm glad you don't agree with me. Hey, we're different people. Great. I'm glad you, you know, like, for real, people kind of get it twisted and think I'm like, the people think that I think that I know everything about track making and that I'm this big master track reviewer and everything I say, everyone should just agree with, but that's actually the complete opposite. I believe that every single one of you guys should have your own opinions about things and don't just run off of what other people say about stuff and, you know, bandwagon on shit. That, that's a really popular thing to do these days, and it's really important to have your own opinions about things regardless of what kind of negative backlash you'll get or regardless of what everyone else thinks about it. So I try to look at things in a very, like, a very specific way. You know, I don't like treat this person different because they did this other thing off of the track. Check out this fucking save. Oh, my God. I had an angel on my side right there, dude. Jesus. Uh, but, 
you know what I'm saying? Like I, a lot of people cross judge things. Like let's just say they don't like the way I I talk about something in my video. Well, then they'll say I suck at MX Simulator, <laughs> or like the like somebody that is really good at MX Simulator, but you hate their character um, as far as just the way they are as a person. Then you might say, oh well they suck at MX Simulator, you get what I'm saying? Um, but if you have some really, really nice person, you, you love the way they are as a person, but they suck at MX Simulator, then you might say, oh, well, they're really good at MX Simulator because you like their character. You know, you have to judge things by by that particular thing. Like, if you disagree with someone's opinions and you don't like the way they are as a person, then you can judge them how they are as a person, but don't go in there and say they suck at, like, something else but just because you don't like their character you know what i'm saying you have to be true with what you're you're actually criticizing them on you have to stay true to that you can't be biased just as in what kind of person it is or what they've done or if you're judging like their track making skills or their whatever it is you know you can't get pissed off at somebody because you don't like what they said and hate on their custom tracks just because you don't like what they said. You, you get what I'm saying? A lot of people do that nowadays. They sort of bandwagon, like, dual cross-judge people, and uh, it's just an unfortunate thing. So I always try to keep my track reviews very straightforward, very non-biased, very... I don't even really want to know about the person, honestly, just so I can really review it for what it is. Um, and it's just my opinion, dog. I hope you have... Like, people think I want everyone to, you know, like, agree with me, but that's not the case at all. I want people to have their own opinions about it. But um, one thing about this track is... I, you see how he's got this little, uh, he's got like the base ground decal on the track, and then he's got this almost looks like a darker rut coloration to the track right here. Um, I think it that looks really good, but there are certain areas where he doesn't have that like rut decal on it, so then it looks like super basic in some places as far as the on-track decal. Like, you see right here how it just goes to basically no no rut decal at all so it kind of um it's almost feels like the the stock dirt uh tile map in certain parts on the track here but uh but that's like that's pretty small nitpicky something you just you know you barely notice when you're on the track uh just a couple places you kind of see it a little more often here but that's that monster jump dude oh it's big i'm telling you it's it, it's probably bigger than you think it really is. I want to get in this view and actually look at it. But I like how he did all this off-track stuff. Um, he's got... It definitely has almost a MXGP kind of feel to it here. Uh, as far as on-track and stuff. It's got a cool... Just kind of different. A couple of the sections feel different. He wasn't scared to go in there and put water on the track and do some cool shit like that. You know, he wasn't, like, trying to make it a perfect motocross track or anything. So I do... Uh, hats off to him for making something unique uh very cool check out the off-track grass wow i don't know if i've ever seen this right here before you see how he's got like a a bright green dark brown and light brown dude i like how you mix that right there that looks really good off of the track and he's got like all different kinds of trees on here this is a pretty good example of you know putting different types of trees where it doesn't feel like you have a just a straight up tree farm off of the track like it actually looks like a a realistic uh off track in that sense uh it looks nice man uh but he does i do believe he does have somewhat of a fog you know you can actually put fog in this game so i think he does have that here what are these trees doing out here <laughs> <laughs> what uh what dog okay i'm getting like totally lost here but he's got his flaggers in fucking bum fucked egypt out here <laughs> what's up dog oh he's got some trees way out here that's one really bizarre thing that i've not really tested a lot with is like putting objects off of the actual track like i never do that i know some people kind of put like statues and stuff way out here i might have done that with a water statue before but uh, now that i think back to it a little bit but you know you can't build terrain past that certain point there 
So there's a lot of little track making elements that you learn uh, when you do stuff like that. But I just want to see this jump from this view right here. It's so much fun, dude. I, just the way you come off of that lip, like you just, you can naturally, I don't even know, man. It, it's awesome. And even if you don't jump it all the way to where I was jumping it, you can still hit it pretty decent um, scrub wise. So like this section right here, let me back it up. You want to make sure and get on your brakes or you're going to slam your teeth into your front fender right here, okay? Just a little tip for you, boys. <laughs> uh, it's one of those jumps where it's like uh, he should probably have a fucking stop sign, you know, on both sides of the track right there. Um, it's one of those where you got a lot of speed coming up to it, but you really got to slow down. And right here is kind of the same way. You know, if you jump this too hard right here, then you get too much. You actually end up jumping that instead of rolling it, and then you pop off the bike pretty easy. So uh, you want to be careful right there. Now, I didn't know if you could, there's not much of a lip right there, but I was thinking maybe you could jump it far enough to where you landed, like, way out here in the flat part of this. Maybe, possibly. I don't know if that's really potential there, but uh, possibly. But it's so much cool flow when you come around this corner and you get on this roller section. I like how you did the roller section. has got just enough of a kind of rut uh, bump feeling to it where you, and that's kind of how the whole track is feels like you can go really quick on it but it's kind of risky you know it's like just enough roughness in certain areas and stuff like that got some nice natural hills a little uh, natural jump down through there uh, cool inside ruts and then kind of some decent elevation coming back up this way so this is a what you would call probably like semi-realistic you know it's not super ruddy like tons of ruts going up the face of every jump but you got pretty realistic uh, roughness and berm rut styles in the corners you can see pretty cool roughness right here dude i like how i did that um doesn't feel janky you know feels pretty good uh, and even when i say like certain tracks have janky roughness or janky jumps or whatever the case may be i respect the track for what it is like i love I love, believe it or not, I love every single track for what they are in this game. I, I honestly do. Like, I would hate for there to not be janky tracks in MX Sim. I would hate that. I know that sounds totally backwards and it sounds crazy, but I would hate if there was never those kind of tracks because you you would completely eliminate that variation. Like, you get what I'm saying? I would hate if people just said, "Nah, this track's too hard. Let's not make that." You know, let's not make these gigantic jumps. I love. The variation above all else so I just want you guys to always remember that like even though I may speak about how this is janky or that's a uh, weird feeling or whatever the case may be it's not me getting like pissed off or mad about it it's me just explaining what that is you know I love all variations of tracks though like I mean look at my tracks dog <laughs> I mean good god I've made everything from the most basic of off tracks with my Venus motocross to the most crazy dimension tracks of all. Like, I believe in being able to, to build anything you want. You know, that's what I'm saying here. Um, at, at all times, I feel like anyone should, that's what the editor is there for. Build what's in your mind, no matter what that is. Don't, don't focus so much about trying to make it so quote unquote good and, getting good reviews on it build what you want to build dude fuck what all those people say like it's your track build it how you want to build it and i feel like that's one thing i've always stuck in my own mind i didn't worry so much about what people would say about it and what they would think about my tracks i just built it how i wanted to build it and so it is what it is you know it's it's my own designs and so that's what i want all of you guys to take with the things that you do don't don't try to just make this cookie cutter style. I mean, it's okay to go in there and make some tracks, you know, a little more uh, quote unquote normal, but I just want you guys to break out of the box sometimes like this track did. You know, like it's cool how you did this berm right here. Cool motocrossy style roughness through the berm, slight sand filling on the track. Um, I thought the traction was okay. It's It doesn't have like super friction sand where you just feel like you're bogging the bike down, but it still feels like you can kind of uh, kind of flow into the corner without it just sliding the front end out instantly. So it's pretty cool how I did the traction with everything, but you can see how it gets, 
I just have to look at this. Oh my god, crazy moments. Go check out that playlist, dog. Um, okay. Like you can see when you go from this, see how much more realistic that looks where you've got your rut uh, decal in the corner there and then it just kind of goes to no rut decal and it's just like basic you know uh, that's just one little thing I noticed so that kind of looked a little bit weird on the track in areas but I don't know you know it, it may not have looked as good having those ruts all over the track I don't know but um, so like you know I love how just being able to do anything you want to do and any variation of it in any way you can make it different from other people's tracks is also a good thing but um, all these corners multiple lines definitely did a good job on giving you different line options and making it to where they actually work that's always a big thing you know it's you can have a thousand lines in one corner on a track but if one of them's uh twice as viable as all the other ones then what the hell is the point anyways on that so that's kind of something whoa did a little spinny spinny spin around there um but yeah and, and when they're people aren't scared to come in here and like put water on the track i love when they do that kind of stuff um you know, just just cool, nice jump right here. Uh, you gotta be a little bit careful on it because you can definitely over jump the living crap out of it. But uh, okay, let's see. Uh, but yeah, you can get going like really fast on the track. You can actually get to a point where it's like, whoa, like you feel like, whoa, dude, I need to slow down a little bit. Like you, just because of the flow of it, you know, it feels like you can really carry your speed, especially around some of these corners right through here. You can really rail around some of these areas. That berm, right, that outside berm just kind of falls off there, so you got to be a little bit careful right there, but the traction's good enough to where it kind of keeps the bike up a little bit for you. So, yeah, overall, pretty sick job on this one, man. Thought it was something pretty different, uh, nice off track. Uh, you know, it, it's not, no, no part of the track is like, oh my god, this is just the best thing I've ever seen, but it's it's good. It's it's pretty good, I would say. Um, in an overall sense, I would give this a 8. Um, you know, he's got a lot of different little off-track objects. It kind of brings it together more so than just having trees and grass off of there. You know, he's got a little you know, fence back here, some different decal placements, like a, possibly a road or some shit. So all that plays together to kind of bring you into the to the immersion a little bit of the track, but... And the jump faces feel nice too. Jump distances, got some nice bigger lines if you're a pro 450, stuff like that. This jump up here is pretty fun to whip on as well. Nice little tabletop. Um, oh yeah, and these little ruts over here are pretty fun when you come out of this corner. That's one of the most fun corners with the ruts. You can like, it, it's. I, I like how you go to the outside, but then midways through the corner, you can pick if you want to go like to the midline or the outside line. Love how I did that right there. Um, or you can just rail up the inside rut height is perfect on that inside rut where it grips you just enough to where you can come around that corner um, and those little banner looking things he's got off the track definitely just pulls it together a little bit more so like I said eight overall and difficulty you're probably looking at medium so either way I appreciate you guys watching all the videos later dudes.